Differences are reality. Division is our choice. What is up, friends? Rob Sevilla here, the Medicare Minister. Happy Monday to you. Listen, we get one more week to live on purpose, and I pray that something that is said in this video today divinely inspires you to be the leader that I know God has called all of you to be. And I was listening to a podcast recently where Pastor Andy Stanley said this quote, that differences are a reality, but division is a choice. And I began to think of that and I went to, I t told myself, you know what, real leaders or some of the best leaders is probably a better way to say it, have mastered the art of disagreeing agreeably. Leaders understand this, that they can still be passionate about their beliefs or their stance on a particular topic or topics, but it doesn't mean that they can't love the person that may have the opposite or opposing beliefs. It's unfortunate that we live in a culture, a canceled culture, where if you disagree with someone or if you hold an opposing view on a particular hot topic, that that means that you're automatically judging them or that you hate them or it's just assumed that you can't be friends or actually get along and have some form of unity. But as a Christian and a Christian entrepreneur, I think of the two greatest commandments in the Bible. Love God, number one, with all your heart, and two, love your neighbor as yourself. So in other words, as Christians, and if you're an entrepreneur today, as Christian entrepreneurs, we must never be more passionate passionate about our position or our beliefs or the posture that we have towards something more than our love for the people. It doesn't mean that we're called to dilute it. it. doesn't mean that we're called to dismiss it. It doesn't mean that we cannot be passionate about what we believe in, but ultimately we must strive for unity, even if it means that I have to be willing to love someone although they may believe differently than me. One final thought that I will leave with you as well. You hear so much talk about our circles, right? That we should always purge our circle, that we should take an order of the five closest people that we hang out with the most. Well, here's the reality. The caveat is this, that we grow the most as leaders, as individuals, as Christians, when we don't put ourselves in cookie cutter circles. So in other words, you want people that believe differently than you in your circle. You want people that may be on the other side of the spectrum, if you will, when it comes to uh, beliefs and stances, political parties, etc. Why? Because it allows you to become a more well-rounded leader. It allows you to become more things to more people in order that you may win some. Now, real quick disclaimer as I finish this out today, I am not saying discount what you believe in. I am not saying don't be passionate about what you believe in. What I'm saying is that be more passionate about loving and reaching people than your own philosophies, your own beliefs, your own ideologies, and so on and so forth. Well, friends, I pray that this has put fresh wind in your sails today. I pray that you have an awesome day. As always, please like, comment, sub and subscribe. Share this with someone who needs to hear this today, and we'll talk to you soon.